To the hockey world, Bob Murdoch was a two-time Stanley Cup champion, coach of the year, and a player. To his wife, he was her world, and in his years of decline, she was the caregiver. It's like you're losing your loved one bit by bit over time. Murdoch died in August 2023. His brain went to researchers who found the ex-NHLer suffered from Lewy body dementia, Alzheimer's, ALS, but also severe chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, a neurodegenerative disease caused by repeated head injuries. Intuitively, I knew that it was CTE given Bob's history. Others would not even associate it with it. With hockey comes contact. To the head, it looked like. Researchers now say the longer an athlete plays the sport, the greater likelihood they will develop CTE. The odds um, for CTE increase by about 34% with each additional year played. The largest study of its kind examined the brains of 77 former players, pros, high school players, and those in between. The research found CTE in more than half of the players, rising to 96% of the professional players, including 18 of the 19 NHLers. This isn't something that's just affecting enforcers. This is affecting uh, uh, a fair amount of the hockey players that, that we studied. The NHL has repeatedly disputed a link between hockey and CTE. I mean, we, we'd certainly like the NHL to recognize the link between head impacts and CTE. Murdoch's family was motivated to donate his brain to help with research, education, and awareness. It was just like, here was my man, the, the love of my life dying around me, and I had to do something about it. Um, for the future. Last month, the NHL Players Association announced an advisory committee to better understand CTE, a move praised by Bev Murdoch, who says the more awareness, the better. Sarah Plowman, CTV News, Fredericton.